It has been a long three years full of twists and turns and lots of plan changes, lots of changes. But to date, we have paid off over $200,000 worth of debt, and I'm gonna tell you how. And this is not going to be a follow Dave Ramsey's seven baby steps to financial freedom, because honestly, we're inspired by Dave Ramsey but we're not really following his plan. We here in the Valencia household believe that it is completely 100% possible to become debt-free just by deciding that that is what you wanna do. Hi, I'm Wendy Valencia. My husband Mauricio and my seven-year-old Melina and I have been paying off debt for three years and we've paid off a lot. Before I jump in, I'm gonna deal with the two elephants in the room. Yes, there are two. One, we make a lot of money. And two, we live with my parents. We were already living with my parents when we started. It really had nothing to do with living with my parents. Things were tight for us financially, but we were still making ends meet. We were putting Mauricio's sister and her husband through school at George Mason University to learn to speak English. They have since returned back to Columbia and are no longer here but we were spending about $3,000 a month to support them. And then on top of that, Mauricio was working side hustle jobs to pay the bills, Uber, Amazon Flex. He had a temporary contract position for a short period of time. So whatever he could do to help pay the bills is what he was doing, but he didn't really have like a job job. And then right around that time, I found out about every dollar and I started using it, which honestly, every dollar really legitimately is one of the primary reasons that we've been so successful, but I'll get into that. So that was around April, 2016. In June of 2016, we had a nightmare because Murphy hit hard and we ended up with more debt, but we were still committed to living a debt-free life, but there was really legitimately no way to get out of this situation without taking on more debt. And so if you wanna check out that video, I'll link it uh, down in the description box so you can watch it. It was awful. Gosh, June 2016 is the month that will live in infamy. So in the first 16 months before Mauricio got his job, we paid off about $78,000 worth of debt, but that was essentially making our minimum payments. We had committed to always paying a certain amount of minimums, and that's really all we were doing during that time. We weren't making huge strides or headway, but we were, you know, going and going and going. But what really happened in those first 16 months is we solidified and strengthened how we were paying off debt. We really got the mechanics down and the understanding and it allowed us to make some changes. So some of the things that happened in the first 16 months, in October of 2016, we took a trip down to Columbia to visit Mauricio's family because it had been a couple of years since we visited and we really felt it was time we needed to go. And so we went and it cost us around $6,000. In November 2016, Mauricio was blindsided with some news that the career he was planning on was not going to be the career for him. And I'll link that video down in the description box because that was a game changer for us, like massive game changer. And then one of the big factors was December 2016, I really screwed up our Christmas budget. I mean, hugely. Because I am paid on a biweekly paycheck, that means twice a year I get three paychecks in one month and it screws me up and my budget every year, every single year. And that Christmas was ridiculous. So that screw up actually led us to start sinking funds in January of 2017. And if you don't know what a sinking fund is, I will link a video down in the description box for you to check out. It'll go through what is a sinking fund and why you should have them. And I cannot tell you how much I recommend sinking funds. And because of Christmas, we also decided that the bi-weekly paycheck issue was becoming a huge problem for us and we decided we needed to get one full month ahead, which means 
what we earn in this month goes to pay next month's bills. So we essentially needed to have both a month's worth of my salary and a month's worth of Mauricio's salary in savings. So on the first day of the month, we could take that pile of money and drop it into our checking account. And then as the month went on, all that money we earned would go into our savings account. And we achieved becoming one full month ahead by April of 2017. And so really I attribute our success to three things. Every dollar forcing us to reconcile our budget and actually admit how much money we were spending. The creation of sinking funds, which has saved us financially on more than one occasion because while it is sinking funds designated for a specific thing sometimes emergencies come up and it's nice just to have 10 or fifteen thousand dollars sitting that you can go oh i have a thirty six hundred dollar tax bill this month i'm gonna have to take that money from somewhere and we'll figure out how we're gonna put that back next month true story and then finally having one full month of expenses ahead also allows us if we go a little bit over we can pull from that pile of money and just lower our expenses for the month coming up so in truth between april and july 2017 we actually struggled a whole lot less than we had previously because we were one month ahead and because we had sinking funds in place and since july 2017 when mauricio actually got the job that he has now it hasn't been smooth sailing but we've consistently paid off a good chunk of debt every single month and we've also saved consistently every single month. Well, except for the government shutdown, which was not fun. But surprisingly, we were one of the few families that wasn't really worried during the government shutdown because we knew we could very easily stretch what we had out to last about six months if we had to. So during the year of 2018, we paid off more or less $80,000. And right now we're sitting on about 120,000 more that we owe. And we should, in theory, be done paying off debt in September of 2020, going at the rate we're going now currently. But that's about to change. 16 months away and we are about to change our plan. And no, we're not sticking ourselves in the foot. So if you want to see our plan for the next $120,000, I'm gonna point you right up here, but don't worry, we're gonna pay off all this debt and it is gonna be gone. And the only debt we will have is a mortgage, which we will pay off in time, but we're gonna do it our way. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya, we're out.